Hey, Chris. Hi. How are you doing? All right. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you. Um, your bills. Yeah. Send them to Laura. Okay. What's I'll send, Laura? I'll send you the information tomorrow. Okay. All right. What is she? What's what's her email? You know, or is that here you can send me? It's L dot Ander A N D E R T. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, do you want me to, to um, resend and so she'll get it, or you do you already have? It? I got the one that came today or whenever it yeah. came. Okay. All right, but in the future, send them to her. Okay, you can copy Bill on it. Okay. All right. L. Ander. Got it. Okay. Thank you. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks. Glad that you got the bill anyway. <laughs> Good evening, folks. Good evening. All right, I've got seven o'clock, so I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, do we know if Roger is going Roger. to attend? Roger's in the back. Oh, there you are. So you're so far back, I can't hear you. <laughs> hey, Bill, I thought this meeting was going to be a um, our first foray into uh, hybrid meetings. 
it, it was going to be our attempt. I had a meeting with uh, Mike D'Amato last week, and we were just able, not able to put it together. He was going to assist us with it. We're still trying to get the uh, equipment all together and functioning. Um, we, oh, are looking, we are looking forward to doing that. For our meeting on the eighth, I'm going to have a try to do a trial run before then. Yes, let me know if you need anybody to participate in a trial run. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um. Okay, I will call the meeting in order. All members are present. Hear from the public. Going once, going twice. Item four for selectmen's briefing. Um. Last week, Chris and I successfully uh, put in our uh, response and submittal for the uh, second phase of the ARPA tranche, uh, tranche. And we understand that we should receive that prior to the end of this month. Yeah, I think it's called a tranche. French, tranche. Tranche, yes, it's a French term. Thank you. Um, item two, Cindy Ford has been certified by the State Board of Ed as acting superintendent of the Ashford School. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to her. Um, item three, Cindy Ford has been acknowledged by, acknowledged the, Connecticut by the Connecticut Department of Administrative Services um, to be the administrator for application for Board of Ed grants regarding the several projects that we're looking forward to. And she's already had a meeting, I believe today with DAS and as well on her way to uh, getting up to snuff on that and getting all our ducks in a row. Uh, former wagon shed property, also known as the C word that I don't like mentioning, Cato Rock. Um, we had a meeting um, last Wednesday, the 27th with Erica for a select woman from uh, Willington with Kelsey, uh, with Ann Catino and Chris and myself. And I believe Chris has shown you a narrative. I asked her to do up a narrative of the meeting. Um, she said you saw it today, I believe. And- uh, uh, what, Yes, I, I read it through. I have some questions about it. But. Um, what I'd like to do is make uh, that narrative a part of these minutes. If anybody else wants to take a look at it. Catherine, I added Conservation Commission and Agriculture Commission. Thank you. They should be part of the decision making. I um, my, cons my concern, my greatest concern is the amount of time, the very limited amount of time we have to come to a decision. You know, this has been out there for some time. And now we're like up against a wall. So in order to get in, get our uh, our request in for the 15th of August, August, September. September. September, yeah. Item five, um, I don't know, Chris, has Roger and Catherine seen the narrative that Dave put together from the uh, rec committee regarding the Ashford School Program? No. I'm, no. Bill, I'm missing something. You're calling item one, item two, item three, item four, item five. We don't have that. Yeah, this is just my selectman's briefing. You'll have to yeah. forgive me. I had it for my own reference sake. But So uh, what is the thing you're talking about now? It's the proposed Ashford uh, after school program. This was a program for students that um, was previously run at the school by the YMCA out of Vernon. And they gave the school notice and the town noticed that they would not be doing it again this year because of a uh, lack of um, being able to come up with staffing. And I've had no communication with them at this time, but uh, the rec committee uh, did go to the board of ed and say that they did because they were approached initially by a number of parents um, asking if the rec committee would consider coordinating this I guess the rec committees in Coventry and Mansfield presently do it. And um, it's quite involved. Um, I'm thinking that the Board of Selectmen probably should call us a, a special meeting and meet with all the parties. The only thing we're trying to do is 
put together a little research. Uh, Dave Rostin, our latest appointee to the Red Commission, has put together a narrative that I'll ask uh, Chris to forward to you and Roger. Um, it's still kind of in draft form, but we've also been making inquiries with uh, Kerma, our insurance carrier, and I intend to pursue some uh, informational information after we get information submitted by the rec committee from Mansfield and Coventry um, to ask for any legal implications on it. I think it's a quite involved program. And so uh, who, who from the town was working with the after school program that was run by the YMCA in, in Vernon? Melissa has been, I, I consulted with Melissa from our social service office, of course. She was familiar with it and um, had some reservations regarding uh, uh, staffing and, and the same sort of thing I just mentioned. I don't recall ever being involved or even hearing about it. Catherine, I don't know if you were previously. Uh, I, th I thought that it was something that the school was coordinating with whoever needed to have it. Apparently was not. Doing it. Apparently not. But uh, so uh -huh. we're, this has come about recently and I think it uh, needs us doing some due diligence on it to know the implications with coverage. I mean one of the cover one of the concerns I have besides legal and, and, and insurance and that sort of thing is is staffing. Um, they're recommending the program not to um, be for any more than 20 children at a time in, in um, classes that would be two classes apparently from three in the afternoon to six in the evening. And um, I think we just have to get educated on it before we make right. the so you have, for our support. You have some kind of, you have some kind of a narrative that uh, Roger and I are going I, to receive? I asked David to put together one and he has, and um, I apologize. I thought it had gone out to you, but we'll get that out to you, if not tonight, first thing in the morning. But I, I did ask Dave if he, found the opportunity to join us just in case you, anybody wanted to add it to the agenda, but I don't see him. So I will. Uh, yeah. Without having the narrative. Yeah. Without having the narrative, it's not really good use of our time. Right. I agree. Um, so anyway, that's, that's all I have under selectman's briefing and we will move on um, here from boards, commissions, committees, and departments. You skipped minutes. Oh, sorry. Item five, acceptance of the minutes of our regular meeting of July 18th. Uh, I move to accept. There's a motion. Um, Catherine, you were out, you weren't here, right? No, I need to, abs I, I, I need to abstain. I will second the motion. Is there any further discussion or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor of the uh, item with the understanding that um, Catherine has abstained, I'll vote aye. Aye. Thank you very much, motion passes. Uh, our special meeting of July 29th, 22. Do I have a motion? Uh, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from the special meeting of July 29th, 2022. We have a motion on the floor that's been second. Any corrections or additions to the minutes? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Unanimous, thank you. Item six here, here from boards, commissions, committees, and departments. Nobody has joined us. I'll move on to old business. Item A, discuss reopening strategies. Uh, everything is remaining status quo. Um, just to, to add what you were inquiring about, uh, our intention is to implement as soon as possible our hybrid meetings, um, primarily using the large room downstairs at the, for the first time on the 8th, but uh, any time in between. And if we are able to put together a trial meeting, Catherine, I'll certainly let you and Roger know so you can- uh, Yeah, I, I guess we can't really do that that way because then it would be considered a board of selectmen meeting. But Probably. I just wanted to make sure there's an opportunity to make sure it's working okay before we get to a town meeting that's going to be rather complicated. I agree. I will keep you posted on it, whether you can attend or not. Uh, item B, Ashford Advisory School Committee. I have no report. 
Uh, I understand that Jim Rupert has been in contact and has several conversations with Cindy Ford. And uh, we're in the process of putting together. I don't believe Jim is entertaining having a meeting much before the school uh, starts the end of the summer. Um, but I haven't heard that for sure yet. I thought it would be a good idea to have a meeting before then, but we'll leave that up to the school building committee. COVID uh, item C, COVID update. I continue to send out reports. Luckily, um, our area is still in the low designation. Um, there's been a slight bump in, uh, in cases, uh, but uh, the hospitals and everything are remaining fairly constant. So uh, that's good news. I think you'll probably see them start to go up when school starts again, because they'll be reported through the school. Yeah, I think you're right, Catherine. I, I also thought that we'd see a little more of a bump because of the July 4th holiday, but um, other than, than a few cases, we didn't see a major bump, but it, you're probably right. I think the schools are more uh, adapted to reporting. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of people that really aren't reporting them. So they're just moving on with their lives. Yeah, yeah. Okay, under item uh, eight, new business, adopt the Ashford Town credit card policy. I believe this you and Roger received. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really no changes other than going over to MasterCard. Um, do I have a and motion? I, uh, I have a motion. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to accept the uh, Ashford, the adopted, uh, I'm sorry, to adopt the Town of Ashford credit card policy that's been revised to include the addition of a MasterCard. Do I have a second? I'll second. Is there any more discussion? Yeah, the thing I wanted to ask is, if I understood correctly, um, I saw that, today, read that today, it's uh, any use of the MasterCard, aside from being used for gas, and I don't, can't remember if it was gas and oil, um, has to be pre-approved, is that correct, by the selectman that's or the I, treasurer? That's as I understand it, Catherine. Okay, um, I think that's great. The uh, It'll be interesting to see how that works when we're talking about using that MasterCard for some things uh, from some companies that we don't buy from on a regular basis. Uh, a lot of times, uh, like Sherry York, will get um, some supplies for this or that through another company. And uh, I don't know what she's going to know about them before she goes to get them. But that's just an observation. I think it's a great policy and I'm glad we're gonna have one. Very good. Any further comment? We have a motion on the floor has been second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you, folks. Item B, discuss and act on approval um, of the sale, uh, short sale request uh, for, for the housing rehab program, number 201002. Um, Can you do a... Um... Uh, I'll make a motion to accept that. Um, Is there a second? I'm just reading. Uh, for, the, for the purpose of discussion. Right. Okay, I'll second. Okay, so the motion Bill is on the floor and it's been seconded for discussion. You'll notice in from Megan, we got a recommendation um, not to accept this. And I think her points are well taken. Um, I don't know what your, your feelings are on it. Uh, my understanding in the past, we have, there have been a couple of exceptions made and in similar situations we have accepted. However, I've never seen a recommendation as strong as we did from our grant administrator or director of the rehab program suggesting so have, you don't I, do this. have I missed something in terms of the address of this house? Typically, they don't list the address of the name. They just list them by file. I see. Because of confidentiality issues. Okay. All right. So um, My, at this point, I, at I this mean, point, I'm not, I'm not ready to approve this. Yeah, I want to yeah, hear a little bit more about this. Okay. As I recall, a couple of years ago, 
Um, we had a similar situation and we denied it. And the people went on appeal and came in and talked to us. I don't remember the particulars of it, but I agree. I don't, I would prefer to go with the recommendation of uh, the grant administrator and uh, and not not approve the uh, request at this time. Is there any more discussion or comment? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor of the vote, signify by saying aye. Aye. All, uh, nay. Sorry. All, all opposed? Nay. Yay. Nay. Nay. Three nays. Motion does not pass. Thank you, folks. Item C, discuss and act on acceptance of the Savage System proposal to provide IT services. I, I think that there may be a little misunderstanding here. I did send out information um, that had transpired regarding the Board of Ed acceptance. Um, it was a we pr provisional acceptance of the three-year contract. And most of the information that I sent out, of course, was in their minutes and discussions were in public with Eric during the Board of Ed meeting. Um, I did want- we have a, Should we have a motion before we discuss this? Um, sure. Okay, so I make a motion to approve the contract is for the purpose of, this is for the purpose of discussion. Is I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion on the floor, it's been second. Um, so as, as I said, the information that I forwarded on to you um, was information that was discussed in public session at the Board of Ed meeting. And they approved a three-year proposal, which I understand Savage has accepted with some, uh, but the Board of Ed did have the, the biggest conditional thing was that they wanted their, uh, their Board of Ed Council to review it. And I have seen no reports, nor have I heard from Cindy or anybody else that that review has been done. So. I would suggest we don't take any action at this time. Yeah, I have uh, spoken with I have spoken with Jane Urban. Okay. Okay, about this, and uh, they have the same one of the same concerns that I have, which is that the language in the contract does not protect the town in the event that Savage doesn't meet their obligations, and we want to get out of the contract because of that. So uh, I did send you an email uh, reiterating that. I had said that in June when we looked at the original five-year proposal. So, uh, and uh, both Bill, you and Roger are on copy as is town council. So uh, again, they have the same concern and their attorney is looking at it. So you're right, we shouldn't be taking action on this yet. It's unfortunate because I know that we really need to get something in place. So was Savage ever approached about changing that language? Yes. And it should not be a big deal for them yes, to do and, this. And I did get something late this afternoon from Savage and I forwarded off to Duncan and asked him to make comment to respond to our board. I have not heard back yet. Okay. Okay. So if worse comes to worse, we could, I, I hate to do it, we could have a special meeting. Um, once we have information back or savages come back with uh, something that the attorneys agree to, uh, if in fact they, the attorneys come back before our next regular meeting, just to get the ball going. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you folks posted on what okay. I hear. All right. All right, I'm going, to call, them... I'm going to call yeah. for a vote. There's a motion on the floor to accept. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Nay. All opposed, signify by saying no. Nay. No. No. All right. Item D, under new business, any boards uh, or committee appointments? I don't believe there are any at this time. Is that right, Chris? All right. Correct. Item E, tax refunds. Are there any tax refunds? No, there aren't. Any remarks for the good of the board? Stay cool out there, folks. It's supposed to be a tough week, keep wise. So uh, when is our next board of selectmen meeting? It is regular we have, meeting. We have a special meeting on the 8th and then yep. a regular meeting on the 15th. 
So the regular meeting on the 15th is past, the, okay. The, um, so the, there is, there is are a couple of things I would like to see us start to look at. Um, I, had, I had been looking at these um, back when. Uh, any kind of safety drills for our, our town employees, particularly those in the town offices? Sorry, safety what? Drills. Safety, drills. safety drills, safety procedures. Mm -hmm. They haven't had them pretty much ever. Mm -hmm. And that's not okay. Particularly in this climate. Mm -hmm. The So that was one item. The other thing is, if we're not coming back until the 15th, that means 15th. So would we also have on that meeting um, some more information about the uh, Cadle Rock options? I believe so. And that would be good. On which meeting? The, the one on the 15th of August. That's a joint meeting with the Wellington Board of Selectors. Oh, okay, so that's really gonna be a special meeting? No, it's going to be a regular meeting and their regular meeting, but we're going to, the, the proposal right now is to combine them with that. Okay, and there's, there's no issue. Subject. Okay, and there's no issue with us having a, um, bear with me, the Zoom set up because for a meeting to be a regular meeting, it has to be on our standard, we, however we're going to do it. And so they have, they're using Zoom and they're using, um, Hybrid. 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 Yeah. We're going to try to pull that off, Catherine. Okay. Just. All right. Um, okay. And we will have already had our town meeting on the ARPA funds. So, um, I'll contact your office after this for some additional information I'd like on some of the items that were added to the list. Um, this under consideration. So that's all I had. Anything, Roger? Um, good. I will entertain a motion for adjournment. So motion to adjourn. We have a motion made. Catherine, second. second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Good night, folks.